Oh. You know what? Ugh. Holy crap. Whew. That is picante. Whew. I love Mexican cuisine, but I don't really love spicy challenges. So we're a little torn today because today we are off to a place called Tic Taco in Arlington, Texas to have the world's spiciest torta sandwich challenge. So what is a torta? Well, if you're not familiar, torta is a is a Mexican sandwich. Um, it is kind of known as a bit of a street food, but also an anytime food. I mean, it's like a sandwich. When can you go wrong? You can't. So on this sandwich, there is a shredded pork, like a carnitas. I think there is some onions, but there also is a spicy sauce made with whole, pure, fresh Carolina Reapers. And that's what I am afraid for. So this is over 2 million Scovilles of just pure heat, hopefully deliciousness, but a little bit of, let's say, Mexican pain, that is for sure. So, although I'm excited, I'm also a little nervous. We do have 10 minutes to complete the challenge, and the sandwich, I think, is only about 12 bucks, so it's super cheap. But yeah, it's supposed to be really, really, really hot. Uh, so let's go see if we can do that. I'll probably grab a couple items before, just because I do love me some tacos, I love me Mexican cuisine. You can't eat spicy food on an empty stomach. So with that, Tic Taco, let's go have fun, let's go eat some food. Texas, let's go. All right, everybody, so we're here with all the food, and I actually also have the owner, Kevin, to walk us through what we got, guys. So listen, I kind of picked these out as per like my favorites, but also a little bit of recommendation, although I heard everything is excellent, so. But, as we said, got to try a couple of bites, because you can't eat spicy food in empty stomach, so we get just a couple of bites, and we'll go from there. Uh, I have a variety, of course, of different salsas, but, Kevin, we got some tacos up here. Now, tell me a little bit. I know we got a pollo, we got a, was it carne asada? No, that one is a fajita. Fajita, okay. So that one is marinated with chiles, but it's not as spicy. Okay. Just to get the flavor from the chiles, okay? Hey, I'm okay with that. I love me some spice, I love me a little picante, and I love chili, just flavors in general. But now this one, what's that one there? Oh, uh, that one is a suadero. So just basically it's a meat that is marinated, with, uh, it's beef marinated with lime juice, really popular in Mexico City. Um, probably I can say it's more uh, popular than the than the pastor, but it's really good. The flavor is really good. Suadero, right? Uh huh. Well, Suadero. I tell you what, looking forward to trying it. I've actually never had that before, but I've had lots of El Pastor. It's one of my favorites. But <laughs> excited to try out some Suadero. Of course, it comes with rice and beans. These beans look absolutely excellent as well. I definitely see some pork, and they look uh, very nice and luscious. Very luscious. We have a mocha hete. Which, what are the meats in the mocajete? So it comes with asada, fajita, chorizo, shrimp, the cactus, and tortillas on the side. You can make your own taco, basically. Muy bien. Guys, these are seriously one of my favorite items to have a mocajete. Of course, I have some lovely warm tortillas here. Yeah, it's basically like a made-to-order taco coming in a hot mortar. So it keeps nice and hot as you go along. And uh, I'm definitely excited. That's literally one of my all-time favorite items. Now, this is a fluffy quesadilla. Is that that one is the blue fluffy quesadilla. In fact. So what what is that? What is a fluffy quesadilla exactly? So just basically it's a, it's a fried quesadilla. Usually the quesadillas are flat. This one is a kind of empanada, but we cannot call it empanada yeah. because it's a it's a tortilla. Cool. So that's why it's called a blue fluffy quesadilla. I like it. And what are the meats in it? Well, this one, the blue fluffy quesadilla comes with a carnitas that is pork. Yeah. Or and the other one comes with flour tortilla and it's a chipotle chicken inside. Oh wow! Well, I love chipotle. I love carnitas. A nice rich pork. Look excited for that. And then here we got some tacos de camarón. 
Yeah, well, it's the house special shrimp, basically. Okay. This one um, uh, usually comes with double tortilla, cheese in middle of the tortillas, yep. and the, the shrimp on the top, the grilled shrimp on the top. Yeah, there's a load of shrimp in here. I asked for it without the cheese, but for those who are fans of queso, you can definitely get that. And we have a queso birria, see? Uh-huh, right. And is this carne de res or...? No, 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 uh, we make it here with, with lamb. In Which is, fact. that's the traditional way, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Whoa. So a luscious taco, and I think it has some consomme. We have that somewhere. We'll definitely get some of that. With are these uh, fried or marinated onions? No, uh, pickled onions. Pickled, yeah, those are my favorite. So hey, well, thanks for walking me through everything. Can we give a couple bites, and then we'll get into the Carolina Reaper torta. Yeah. Not sure if I'm excited for that one, but I am at the same. I don't know. It's spicy things are a little hit or miss to whether I'm, like, I'm excited or I'm not. But I'm excited to try these. So that. Let's eat. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Maybe I'll we'll start with one of these tacos, the Cameroni shrimp tacos. I like seafood tacos. I like shrimp, so let's see what it's all about. Now, again, there's a variety of salsas. I have a jalapeno salsa they make, a, a salsa de arbol, so chili de arbol, and a habanero. So I'm probably going to try a little bit of both. Oh, and of course, cilantro and onions. I'm a big cilantro and onion person. I love the different flavors. Marinate onions. You guys, you just can't beat it. Try the shrimp, put a little jalapeno on here. And it's definitely a very, very viscous salsa. So I look forward to seeing what that's about. So let's give that one a good old bite. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it's got jalapeno flavor. It is a wow. The nicest thing about that is sometimes a jalapeno salsa can be really weak. But no, you taste the jalapeno on that. Not, there's a little bit of heat, but not really. Try this habanero out. I'm gonna put all that on there. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. I love tacos. They're one of my favorite items. And that shrimp is amazing. Delicious. Let me try some of the other tacos while we're at it. I'm gonna try this uh, suadero. So the lime marinated beef. It'll be pretty cool. Put some cilantro, some onions, some lemon. It's already marinated lime, but a little more, never hurts. Mm. Ooh, maybe I'll try it with the uh, chili de arbol, the other salsa I haven't tried yet. The salsa roja, the red. It smells great, not sure it's spicy, but. Yeah. Ooh, I think it's actually pretty picante. But anyway, let's see what it's all about. Very, very tender meat, but I love the flavors. See a little bit of all the sauce action. Mm. Never had it, but I'm definitely a fan. We have some uh, consomme, so I'm gonna try that with this queso birria. I've actually never had a birria taco made with lamb, which is a more traditional way. Normally I've only had it with beef. So that, the dippy taco, guys, that everybody loves, that cheese. Oh, wow, guys, you smell the peppers in that? Woo! Let's see what it's all about. Ooh! Oh! Oh, man! That is suck you lint. That is just like, hold on, wait, one sec. Woo! Great lamb flavor. It's not overly gamey. That is definitely a mouthful of like juicy, luscious. Yeah, guys. Wait, that is a. Uh, mm, I think I like that better than I like beef up here. Yeah. Would recommend. Next, I'm gonna try the fluffy quesadillas. I'll try this one with the carnitas and the blue corn first. Grab a little, maybe jalapeno, put it on this end. And let's see what this cross section is all about. Oh, interesting. Very, very rich. Lots of cheese. Uh, definitely the first flavors I'm getting. But it's like a hot pocket, like a hot pocket full of cheese. And then we have the one with the. Chipotle chicken, same thing. So all the queso fresco, sour cream, see what it's all about. Again, very, very, very rich. Lots of cheesy. You definitely get that kind of oily, extra richness from the friedness. But again, not bad. Let me try these beans while we're at it. What all is in these beans, my friend? Tomate, so, uh, was it cilantro, bacon. bacon. Lots of bacon. Mmm, hot damn. Wow, is this like a normal Mexico City style? Uh huh. Wow, guys, exactly. that friole is. Usually, I'm not used to that. Usually, it's more just like traditional kind of refried beans, 
or I don't know, just Friolas, a little more plain. Those are amazing. Yeah. It's almost like a, almost like a barbecue restaurant. Mm. Fantastic. Go try a little bit of the rice. Good tasting Mexican rice. No complaint about that. Guys, we're getting to this mocha gente. We got all the different meats in here. I'm so excited. We'll try the chorizo. We got the shrimp and the polis, the cactus. Let's see, I'll grab maybe a, I'll try to be civilized, get a fork. Also shout out the sweet tea, we are a text after all. Oh, but what else is crazy is they actually do a whole bunch of the avafresas here, made to order. I've never seen that before. So I'm gonna try that after. I like when I grab the fork and use my hands anyway. But tortilla, the polis, here we got the, uh, what, was, what was the two kind of meat? Fajita. The fajita. Yeah. And what's this one again? And asada. And asada, guys. Just look at that, look at that juicy. Sucked in the meat, got a bite of chorizo. So this is gonna be the bite of everything. And of course, marinade onions, a little cilantro, a lot of cilantro. Do you have a favorite salsa for this one? Yeah, well for that one, I would recommend the, yeah, the habanero. The habanero. habanero. Is, uh... Here we go, let's see what it's all about, everybody. Just gonna put a whole container of that on. Yeah, and delicious looking bite. And let's see how this mocha is. Por favor, me gusta mucho. Oh man, that chorizo has a really, like really spice to it. Those meats, oh man. Mm. I think this bite, I think I'll all trees on the last bite. Let's try it out. Maybe a little arbol. Mm. You can do no wrong. Mm. That's delicious. I guess we got some food in my stomach now. So, at that, one more bite though. One more taco, guys. Gotta have one more taco. And then we will get started. And there's really nice, I like actually how they put all these pieces of the meats in there. They leave them kind of elongated. You can just rip them. I think it's okay to use your hand. Tacos, tortillas, those are all ham foods. And at that, maybe we'll. Onions, cilantro, I'm trying a couple different salsas, some habanero, some jalapeno, and see what that is. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, guys, get the mocha and mix it up. Who we? That is a fantastic. Mm. Amazing. Anyway, I can't fill up too much. Let's get to this tour. So here we are with the world's spiciest torta, the Carolina Ripa Torta Algada, which means drowned or drowning torta. So this is absolutely insane. The crazy thing about this is just how many reapers were actually put in this. So I have the total of about three ladles of sauce, normally only put two. I opted for the sake of the photo, at least to understand this looks like a sandwich for like the thumbnail purposes to get kind of the rest of the sauce here. So even though this is more than normal, we'll put it on anyway. We don't have to drink the sauce. We do have to finish all these solids though. Um, so what is crazy is there's three whole, three, three whole freaking Carolina Reapers in this sauce, which is so much. So look, we're talking like over 2 million Scoville. This thing just looks not only delicious, but looks incredibly daunting. So actually what is in the torta al gata traditionally it is a, a salsa de tomate or a tomato sauce with a chili de arbol kind of mixed in, which is what we have for this one, but it has more chili de arbol, so the more spicy salsa, and then the three Carolina Reapers. So like we said, 10 minutes, not a lot of time. I am kind of excited. So I have this carnitas, which is like a lovely kind of braised pork. There is a marinated red onion and a cabbage in there, a Napa cabbage. One thing I'm excited for is in the tomatoes, there's a lot, in tomato sauce, there's lots of oregano. I love oregano in Mexican cuisine. It is just an amazing, amazing flavor. 
And um, they toast the bread, it looks delicious, but it smells like Reaper. <laughs> Not so sure how I feel about that. So look-wise, fantastic. Smell-wise, scary. But with that, let's get started here just momentarily. And again, shout out the value. This is like 11 bucks, so that's pretty damn cool. But yeah, the world's spiciest torta challenge, the world's spiciest torta. Look at this sandwich again. Looks beautiful. So with that, we'll just start here just momentarily. One thing I do want to give a shout out to is their agua fresca. So they made this one for me. This is pepino con limon, lime, and cucumber. While I can't drink during the challenge, I definitely take it now and after. Mm. And this is amazing. Not only could they make it without added sugar for me, so it is just like pure fruit, vegetable, water. Essentially, it's a fresh water agua fresca. But they'll do this with like a jamaica, piña, melon. Obviously, they'll make them sweetened as well. But I've never seen a place that do fresh agua frescas like made to order. Seriously, which is absolutely insane. Just like blended, basically fruits and mm. Ven vendoras, vendoras, vegetables. I like it. All right, now time has come again. Technically, they said I only need the two ladles. This is three ladles of sauce. I'm just kind of gonna dump this all over. And uh, like I said, I only got to finish. Oh, uh, you guys can't really hear, I'll put it on the front. There you go. Because it is like the name, they literally, it means drowned torta. So there is no shortage of, ugh, Carolina Reaper. No shortage of sauce on this thing. It is swimming in it. I do have like some gloves, very important. And there is also a refried beans on here as well. Oh, you know what's happening? They have fruit and tahini. If I can complete this, if I make it through it, I want to play the pineapple with tahini. How does that sound? Yeah. There you go, guys. That is a that is a dessert I will back any day. That's an any day dessert. Amen, Amen guys. Amen. And if you haven't had tahini, I'm sorry. It is the best thing ever. I literally eat a whole container a week. Not saying you should do that either. Just don't do anything I do, okay? Thanks, everybody came out, by the way. Appreciate hey, all you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. What do you guys say we get started? Everybody ready? Yeah, okay. There you go. Cool. So, how about we get ready to rock? Restaurant is ready? Yeah. I am ready. So maybe we get started, we'll say the count of... Oh guys, this is actually heavy. This is... Oh, and it's toasty bread. Ooh, this might be a little difficult. All right, let's see what this is all about. It looks beautiful. Eh, doesn't smell beautiful. All right, how about we get started? Maybe we'll say the count of like five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna eat this really quick. Oh man. Mm. Ah! That is spicy! Woo! Holy crap! Mm. Oh! I can kind of taste the oregano, which is delicious, but holy reaper! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hot damn. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. Oh. Holy crap. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> ah. Ah. Huh. I would ask what you put in this, but I already know. Whew. Oh. You know what? Ugh. Holy crap. Whew. That is picante. Whew. That's picante. Ugh. Ugh. My mouth is burning. Oh, geez Louise. Okay. Whew. All right. Oh. Yeah. 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 I 
I definitely feel that one. Whew. Yeah, Joe. Uh, uh, oof. Damn, that's hot. Oh, gosh. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys. Ah. I, I, I recommend somebody not watching this alone in the room. If somebody hears all these noises, they might be a little confused. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit oh, man. Message of the day, Carolina wow. Reapers are very hot. Well, I'm gonna try to eat some acidic limes and 
make this better. Well, that is hot. Yeah. Guys, Chit Taco. Woo! I see why they call this the hottest torta for a damn reason. Oh my gosh. That is, that is so spicy. Uh, and something, guys. When it's fresh pods. Oh, guys. Fresh chilies just hit so different. Oh my god. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Thank you. That's this. That's this. Guys, thank you. All I gotta say, uh, hold on, I can't speak yet. Uh, all right. You did it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. And obviously, you don't have to eat limes. Those are totally my choice. Try to get the acidic, the, uh, the acid to help the burn. All right. Well, that everybody. Huge thanks to Tic Taco. This was, well, all right. This was freaking tough. This is hot. The first bite where I got it, where I could taste everything was delicious. That tomato sauce with the oregano was great. The carnitas tasted good. Quiero uh, poquito uh, tomato sauce. Sounds like a good yeah, I'm gonna try just the tomato sauce by itself. I can still taste it. Cause it seemed to taste really good. Woo! In fact, guys, we did successfully complete the world's hottest torta. Yeah, you did. I tell you what, it's 109 degrees outside and probably like 60 degrees here. They got so much AC blasted. But I feel like it's 100 degrees near now. Oh, I am hot. Uh, oh. uh, and that is spicy. Mas picante. Woo. Yo caliente, not in the fun way. Woo. And that, guys. Oh, that takes everybody here. I would love to try that normal torta. I'm sure it tastes great with the regular sauce. Woo. The chili arbo tomato sauce is great. I loved everything I had earlier. Shout out the uh, mocha gente. This is a perfect size. Honestly, probably just split between two people. So it's great value. I think it's like 20 bucks. Oh, I'm just spitting. I'm salivating. You guys probably just got splattered on the camera. Woo! But, uh, thank you. I just want to try this by itself. Uh, it's hot, oh, it doesn't help it burn. Woo! But it tastes delicious, it tastes like oregano. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> but go with, go with the normal. Go with the normal torta. Woo! Guys, let's go. But hey, if you want to try it, they're going to make this torta. So definitely come on by, grab yourself some food. If you should the staff. They're absolutely awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Give it up for the staff. Thank you, you guys who came out after watch. Appreciate you guys again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Oh. And that. Maybe I'll talk to you in a bit. Oh, I'm just spalping. Yeah. I'll come back once I'm not dying and I get my uh, pina con tajin. Until then, guys. Excuse me while I burn and die, but I'll be right back. Six and a half hours later. Whew. All right, guys, 13 hours later. And sorry, some people left. I went to the back to get my fruit. Some people left, so thanks everybody came on up. But of course, guys, as I want it, we have my lovely fruit, my piña. You've got a little bit of sandia, a little bit of melon, and tahiti. I love it. This is my favorite. So, first off, guys, pineapple is the best fruit ever. Kids, eat your fruits. That is a nice ripe pineapple. So again, this is something that I do. You can do. Eat your fruits, kids. But guys, tahiti. If you're not familiar, it is a chili salt. Basically pulverized chili with lime and salt. 
and I just love to douse this stuff in it. You can never have enough to heat. Literally, this is this is what it should look like. Just total. Try with some melon. Best thing ever. Hot damn. Some watermelon. Last but not least, guys, my pineapple cartagena, my favorite. I swear, I hear angels singing. Oh. Mm. Oh. Best thing ever. Again, shout out the staff. They've been awesome here. Oh, guys. And I like that they gave me the whole bottle. I asked for the whole bottle. They did not disappoint. Woo wee. All right, everybody. I don't remember saying goodbye earlier, but seriously, huge thanks to everybody here. They're awesome. Great food. The baby over there agrees. So next one, everybody. So good. If you never tried tahini and fruit, I'm sorry. You gotta do it. With that, have a good day. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.